This video demonstrates how to use buffers to estimate populations around features on a map. Sometimes you'll want to visualize and study the area around one or more features on a map. If you're interested in studying just one location, the easiest way to do this is with the Radius Drawing tool. If the drawing toolbar is not visible, choose Edit, Drawing, Toolbar to display it. Then choose the Radius tool and click on the map at the location you want to study. Enter a radius and, if necessary, change the units. So for example, if I enter a radius of 5 and click OK, map to do draws a circle with a 5 mile radius on the map. In addition to visualizing the area that is encompassed in this 5 mile ring, I can right click and choose Export to Excel to create an Excel file that contains more information. This first tab shows all of the cities within 5 miles of where I clicked, and the second tab shows that stores 9 and 11 are within 5 miles of the location where I clicked. In addition, if demographic data are available for the country you are using, there will be a tab that contains overlay data for the ring. In this case, you can see, for example, that the estimated median household income within this 5 mile ring is $66,000, and the population is 698,000. The Buffers Analysis tool in Maptitude allows you to do a more complex study of an area or compare multiple features. For example, if I want to study the populations around all of my stores on the map, I would first make sure that the store layer is the working layer, shown here on the drop down list, and then click this button or choose Tools, Analysis, Buffers. There are several options for creating buffers. The Fixed Sizes method lets you specify one or more sizes for the buffers. For instance, I'm going to take a look at the populations that live within 1, 2, and 5 miles of my stores. I want to look at the entire population that is nearby any store, so I will leave the separate buffers box unchecked. And I'm going to check this box to calculate demographics for the buffers, and click OK. Maptitude creates the buffers, adds them to the map, and, because I chose to calculate demographics, opens a data view with the results. I'm going to lock this column. And if I scroll to the population field, you can see that 317,232 people live within one mile of my stores. Another 851,309 live between one and two miles from a store. And just over 5 million people live between two and five miles from one of my stores. It is also possible to create separate buffers so that you can compare the populations around each store. So this time I'll click the buffers button. And again, use fixed sizes, but I'll just create a single 5 mile buffer and check the separate buffers box and calculate demographics. I'll go ahead and replace the existing buffers, and Maptitude adds the 5 mile buffers around each store and displays the data view of the demographics. And if I scroll to the population field and sort it, you will see that Store 9 has the greatest population within 5 miles of it, with 736,712, and Store 8 has the smallest nearby population, with 370,307. You can also build buffers so that their sizes encompass a particular target. For example, we might want to build buffers that encompass 100,000 households. To do this, choose the Build to Value option, Enter 100,000, and choose Households as the field. I can find the field a little faster by typing the first few letters to filter the list to fewer fields. Again, click the separate buffers box and calculate demographics, and click OK. Each of these rings contains 100,000 households. In areas with many households, the 100,000 household buffers are smaller, like around store number 3, and in less dense areas they are larger, like around store number 8. And if we look at the data view, and sort the width column, you can see that there are 100,000 households within 2.74 miles of store number 3, but you need to go out almost 5 miles from store number 8 to encompass 100,000 households. There are two other methods for creating buffers. If the layer around which you are building the buffers has a field with information on the size of the buffer, you can choose the variable size option and specify the field and units to use. 
The evenly spaced option lets you enter a minimum, maximum, and interval size for building regularly spaced buffers. For example, we can build from 0 to 10 miles at 2 mile increments. I'll uncheck the separate buffers box and click OK. In this case, we can see that almost the entire Los Angeles area is within 10 miles of one of the stores. And that wraps up this tutorial on buffers.